Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Frostpunk in Outpost 11. We're slowly starving to death. I've got some emergency shifts going so we can try to gather up some more of that steel and stuff. And I'll go ahead and turn on heaters as well, just so you people don't get sick quite as much working in a cold environment. It's the best I can do though. But yeah, it's about to get a little bit colder, um, and we are not generating nearly enough. Good lord, why did the resources drop to only 3.8? Efficiency has dropped! Let's go ahead and use the support beams in order to speed this up. Why did this drop so much? I don't know. Um, I think so many people are sick that they're not working here anymore. That might be the issue. Oh boy. Well, let's go ahead and assign our engineers to go ahead and start working in the cookhouse. We need to go ahead and turn the um, heaters on. Go ahead and start getting some of those rations, and that's all I got. That's it. We've literally used up all of our food already. Gosh dang it. If you guys would still send me a reasonable amount of food, we could almost make this work, but alas, it's just not happening. Oh, raw food! A small settlement built under the cover of the rocks in which several people live in it. Several dozen, sorry. It consists of several sturdy buildings and two large greenhouses heated by hot springs. Hello, people! A gift of life. Amazingly, people live here, and not only do they grow their own food, but they're willing to share it. This enclave of life, clinging to a few hot springs, was settled after the Great Storm by people from a town which survived with the help of another city. They set up the hot houses here and planted the seeds, as they say, to pass the gift of life. They gave us some food as a gesture of goodwill and are eager to trade more in exchange for helping with expanding their settlement. That's terrific! Okay, we're gonna build a trading depot. Huge deal, huge deal. Do we dare go to the crumbling hut? I think we can afford to get to the crumbling hut before we go home, but that's about it. We don't have a whole lot more time. Trade with the hot springs. We have found a promising food source and we should form a construction team unit in the transport depot and send them to hot springs to build a permanent trading depot. Okay, so this is how we're gonna get trade depots, which is basically how we're gonna do trade from, um, we were doing outposts in the last game, I'm guessing. So, if we go here, units. Construction team needs steel, wood, and 10 workers? I'm not gonna lie, that's, uh, that's a little scary in that it's a lot of people. Um, that said, I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and pull off a few people from each. We'll send the engineers over here to gather up some more wood in the meantime. Although we're actually a little bit lower on coal. We're okay with that at the moment, though. But with 10 more workers, actually, we got too many. Sorry, hang on. There we go. We can go ahead and set up one of those teams. We're going to use up some of that steel we were using to get some more food. But if this works, it's well worth it. So, our outpost is going to set up over here to the hot springs. It's going to take a while. But if these guys are able to consistently bring me more food every day and we can remove our uh, dependence on New London, this is how we live. Yeah, start trading, absolutely. My question is, when you say trading, what do we need to give them, right? How do we do that? We already have enough steam cores, by the way. We need to swap back over to Just Steel. Get as much of this going as we can here, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, we have just enough food that we should be able to feed the few people who are currently hungry, as long as they actually eat. I'm a little concerned that people who are not starving right now are gonna eat first, and we're gonna have people who die. Might happen. That would obviously be a pretty serious problem. Nobody else is gravely sick at the moment. That's good. It is still cold. I'm doing the best I can, though. All right. Shipment for New London is ready for dispatch. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Okay. So we're at least working on that. Um, we're going to get some food, but that should buy me just enough time to wait for these guys to arrive. And they will do so in just a few hours. So let's see what the terms of the agreement are going to be. Probably someone else we can trade with, maybe at a better deal than we were getting with New London. Maybe. Okay, they've arrived. What do we get? Build a trading depot. All right, let's do it. Favor is average at the moment. Neutral relations, 35 population in total. Okay, so with that done, uh, if I go here... Okay, food autonomy. Sir, our people rejoice in the news of the new food deal with the Hot Springs. We might still need to somehow return the favor. We'll do it in our own terms. Um, oh, here they are. Okay, no shipments to send. So, what is this? Hot Springs. Hello! Your people did a great job setting up the trade depot so quickly. I know, right? Now we can start helping each other. We are sending you our surplus of food, and we can give you more if you provide us with resources necessary to expand our settlement. We'd be grateful if you could also assist us with improving our housing and health care. Okay, um, 
One more thing, we have some problems. Can you help us? We need some food, wood, and steel. They can send us steel, but we lose favor. So now we're in a weird spot where somehow I have to build favor with both the home city and the hot springs. And if I can do that and juggle that properly, we might be able to get enough resources to keep both of them happy. Maybe. Or we're just going to have to say, you know what? You're on your own, New London. I don't know. Trade resources for food. Okay. Completed housing and healthcare improvements. Industry. So... If we sent you technology, would you be able to get more favor or something? Like, have we already given you this? Because I'd like to build some favor with you. I don't know. Maybe? Eh, okay. Well, we'll give that a go and we'll just sort of see what happens. Still trying to get some more steel, though. I'm going to need a lot more of it. A lot more of it. All right, work time. The good news is the temperature's about to go up. We have some food on the way. Quite a bit of food, actually. Some people are indeed starving. They did not prioritize properly. Shipment has arrived at New London. I think they immediately ate the raw food. I think that is exactly what they did. They just ate the raw food so we couldn't actually cook it. Uh, that's a problem. Well, let's get what little rations we can here. Um, good news is we have another surplus on the way. It's going to be only a couple more hours, and then we'll be able to cook some food. All right. All right. What do we got over here? Long hours of toil. Now, y'all need to keep working. You don't understand. I need you guys to keep going. Don't stop. Also, we really need the temperature to rise so I can stop wasting all my coal, because I've only got about 16 hours left. Uh, in fact, we're going to have to stop working so much with the wood. We're going to have to just gather coal and nothing else. Let's do some more wooden supports. Well worth it. It's getting me loads more steel I can work with. High discontent. Um, we should ask New London for help. Yes. Let's ask for this some, for some, uh, some new laws. They are going to get me fighting arenas to free the administration from arbitrating disagreements and raise the recovery rate of the steam cores. From now on, all disputes will be <laughs> solved by us fighting each other. What an incredibly inhumane way of solving our problems. Thank you, New London. What terrific pals you are. Oh, good lord. All right. Um... I'll set you up over here because it's close to the brazier. But yeah, let's, that's actually not a bad solution. It's worth having. We'll do that. And we got some new messages from New London. We commend you for finding another settlement and making initial contact with their representative. Their crops will provide a very timely aid to our food security. I'm sorry, your food security? No. However, we have to remind you that all external connections and food distribution network are to be handled directly with New London. Immediately cease contact with New Springs and hand over the raw food. This is outrageous. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I don't think so. Enough is enough. This is going to turn into an outright revolt with New London. Okay. No more masters. I mean, I'm kind of inclined to say, yeah, screw you. People have had enough. Sir, people are rioting. They refuse to follow orders from New London. No more masters, chants the mob. Enough is enough. A miner waves her mattock in the air. Bloody bastards, she shouts. They treat us like dirt, abuse our kids, and now they want us to just give up our only hope of survival? No way! People have dragged the office workers from the outpost administration to kick them out from the outpost as they stand. Should we intervene? No, send them back or tell them to back down. Okay, so this is where we have to decide on the course of our campaign. Do we stick with New London or do we go with the new outpost? I'll be honest, New London sucks. I'm just concerned they're going to put together a military and attack me. I say send them back as they stand. Screw off, New London. That'll teach you to respect people. We're better off without those leeches. I agree, actually. <laughs> um, maybe we can actually use some steam cores. You treacherous scum. Your outpost is officially disbanded and you will all be tied for uh, tried for treason upon your return. You have three weeks to convince us that you've changed your ways and wish to remain loyal citizens of New London. After that, you'll be hauled back in manacles and may God have mercy on your souls. This was New London speaking over and out. No more help. Okay. Well, it's not like you guys were especially helpful to begin with. Um... So maybe it's okay. I don't know. Like, when you say you're going to haul us back, are you actually going to? Don't know yet. Seek help in Frostland. With the communications cut, there's no way for us to walk back from the brink, even if our people cool down and have second thoughts about the whole independence declaration. We can only prepare to confront what we must assume will be a punitive expedition coming from New London. For this, we will need much more manpower and resources than we have, so let's try to find more people in Frostland. Maybe there are other, other settlements like Hot Springs. It's also worth asking them for help. Okay. 
Uh, difficult times, harsh words were said, reckless decisions were made, but we can't turn back time. We should now focus on searching Frostland in hopes for finding other people out here. Alone, we have no chance against New London. Other than that, we'll just have to wait for their move. Okay, so we have a few weeks, basically, to figure out how we're going to live. Fortunately, we were able to keep our raw food by confronting New London here, so at least we have some of that to go around, and that is a significant deal. In the meantime, these are the only people we have for friends, and we don't even need steam cores with them anymore. I will happily send you some resources in exchange for some more food. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We should still be building the fighting arena, so that's good. Um, I'm very concerned we're not going to have much heat soon. Fighting arena has been built, that's good. Discontent should go down a little bit. Um, ask them for help. Really? Okay, hang on. Communicate. We need help against New London. Okay, we can do that. I am sorry to hear that we were the cause of your clash with New London. If you help us, we might be able to support you later in your struggle. We'd be grateful if you could help us by setting up basic healthcare and building bunkhouses. We lack manpower and resources to do this ourselves, and we dread that we won't survive another storm. Okay, that's fair. This is a good way for us to build some favor. So we can send them... Okay, pump repair would get a steam core out of here and a lot of resources, but this would help with their food. Okay, wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so this will likely like light up or something if we have completed their improvements. So this is what they're asking for. Send them some people, send them a steam core and resources, build some dwellings. Do all of these things and they will be in a better sp spot to help me. Okay, we will send another shipment en route. All of a sudden, we are the colonial power. Yes! All right, build basic homes and supply the workforce. I mean, is it worth losing a few workers if it means we have a more consistent source of food? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, in fact, that is the case. I need to turn these braziers off soon. I really needed this to warm up because we are rapidly running out of coal. Um, we're going to have to learn how to do coal mining. I need to employ some engineers to do that, though. My engineers are currently set to a lot of other tasks. Well, we can stop re uh, gathering wood for a moment. We'll send you guys over here. And, yeah, let's get some coal mining going so I can learn how to exploit this deposit. And maybe I won't have to worry about coal thumpers. Coal thumpers are great in that they just constantly give you a source of coal and it never runs out. But it's a very manpower-intensive endeavor. In a few hours, these guys will be arriving. Um, I do need probably more scouts, actually. Ooh, we're gonna have a hard time having enough people to do all of this. Alright, well, the shipment has arrived at the hot springs, so that's good. It is warming up, thank god. Let's turn off all the braziers and the heaters and start saving up some coal once again. Okay, are we free? Now that New London no longer controls our affairs, many of our people say that they feel free for the first time in their lives. True, we lost their guidance and support, but we gained independence. We don't have to do their bidding, ask permission to coop, cook, sorry, this is a little off in the sentence structure. We don't have to do their bidding, ask permission to cook soup. We can pass our own laws and decide what to do. There's a petition to change the name of our settlement, since we're no longer an outpost. I say we do it! I'm going full out American here. This is going to be amazing. We're going to change the name. New Kingston. Mmm, how about... How about our good old-fashioned Profsburg? Yes, Profsburg it is. That is the name of our settlement, and we can pass our own laws. Yay! Okay, um, first things first, child labor, safe jobs. Actually would be very helpful right now. That said, we don't have a ton of jobs to go around. Public house, no. Soup would be great. Hope falls, discontent rises, and it causes discontent, but it lets us get a lot more rations, which means less trading is necessary, which means holding on to more wood and steel. Alternatively, though, I mean, the children working. Let me think for a second. Um, how many more jobs do we really need? Not that many. Only adults can work here. Children can work the coal pile, but once the coal pile is gone, kids don't have anything to do. So maybe cooking food... We might be able to get them to help us in, like, the workshop and stuff in the future. I'm not sure. Um, they can work gathering jobs with the coal thumper. That's kind of it, though. I do think we have to do the soup. I know it's going to cause discontent, and discontent's already a bit of an issue, and hope falls, and blah, blah, blah. But we really need soup. We need better ration efficiency in order to make this stretch. This is well worth it in the long time, folks. I promise. I swear it's better. Okay, so we have a few leftover workers. We can go ahead and do the helping hands. 
I will do so. We need some more steel, and we need some um, a steam core. We can send that for pump repair, and that will get these guys up to full efficiency, and they will help us against New London. So I'm guessing there's at least one, maybe two other settlements somewhere in the Frostlands, and if we can find them and also fulfill some objectives, our end goal will be kicking off New London and saying we are, in fact, going to maintain our independence. Thank you very much. Some shipments have arrived at the Hot Springs. We have met the Crumbling Hut. There are survivors. Oh, good. I was actually just looking for some more adults. The building, once heavily damaged, has been repaired to provide some protection against the weather. Smoke is billowing from its makeshift chimney. We knock, and armed people answer the door. But they lower their weapons when we assure them of our peaceful intentions. We soon find out that we are their last hope. They are emanci uh, emaciated, or sorry, emaciated, hungry, and sick, and their supplies are running out. We learn from them that previous inhabitants of this place were killed by wild animals. Ah, yes, we did find that. Well, we were already on our way home, so let's go ahead and escort them. We're going to find some ice caverns, and yes, it's pretty far away, but it's worth escorting to ensure that they all survive and arrive quickly. And we have some more food rations that I want to get back in the base. So I think this is going to end up being a-okay. All right. I feel like we are making some serious progress. I actually have a new sense of hope that we will, in fact, survive this. I would love to learn how to deal with the amputees, by the way. That would be great. All right. So the coal mining is done just in time. We're almost finished with this coal pile. So we'll have to work on that very soon. Charcoal kiln, probably not a priority. More scouts is highly tempting. We are about to get a lot more people. So I think that maybe that is well worth it. Now, the thing about having lots of extra people is we also have more mouths to feed. But I think this is where having the soup is going to be very, very nice for me. And in fact, I'm very glad we explored in the order we did. Otherwise, we would have had more mouths to feed uh, before we were ready. And I don't know how we would have survived that. All right, we have enough steel at this point. I think we go ahead and go back to the steam cores. Actually, wait, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Go to steam cores exclusively right now. There we go. Let's go ahead and start gathering some more of those so I can send the last thing off to uh, the hot springs. We'll do a pump repair job. That'll be great. How much more range do you have? Not much. This is soon gonna have to get dismantled and moved over, but that's okay, we'll work on that. Uh, let's see, hot springs has a message. Your people want to build a medical post in our settlement. It is not necessary in our opinion. We have other ways, uh, we have our ways of healing. The aura of the springs is a cure in itself. We don't trust engineers and their mechanical way of thinking, and we'd rather not have them around. You can help us in many other ways. Um, okay. As you wish, discontent rises. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. The people we sent to help them want real medicine. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, I need them to be pleased, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Discontent rises slightly, but we're okay at the moment. Um, so a settlement's relations. Here's a tutorial. Okay. Made contact. If you ask them, they can help you in many ways. Do it too much, and they're not going to be willing to help. So we gain favor? Yeah, favor is currently high. So if we ask them for help, we actually can get something. How can we help you? No, we're already working on that. We have problems. We need food. We need a lot of food. 60 raw food. Wow. Uh, some food, or we need some workers. Well, I don't need them at the moment. So I'm going to keep my favor high. But let's remember that that is going to be an option. Pretty soon, by the way, I am going to have children working on the safe jobs. And then we'll have people who can cook. That way I don't have to worry about the adults. All right? All right. That seems reasonable enough. We're doing okay, guys. Oh, my gosh. I think we're actually doing okay. Children. Children's shelters? No. I mean, okay. If we do child shelters, we could do, like, medical apprentices and stuff. And that is actually pretty good. You know, we are about to get a whole lot more people. Maybe we do the child shelters and we can just make, like, our medicine more efi efficient. All right, let's do the child shelters. I think I've changed my mind. We don't need the children to work these jobs. We have a whole bunch more people on the way. 22 more workers and 11 engineers. That is more than enough. Let's get the child shelter up and running. Uh, I can fit this pretty neatly somewhere. Uh, right along here, actually. Yeah, let's build the child shelter. Go ahead and get that. It is going to get a lot colder soon, which is one reason we really need to get the coal up and running. Uh, let's go ahead and build... I need a, ugh, I need a steam core. Crap. Um, I hate to say it, but we need to do another emergency shift, and also we'll use some wood to make this a little bit more efficient. Here come some people. Okay, hang on. So we can build a couple of bunkhouses. I think that's worth it, since we're going to be kind of far away from the um, braziers. 
So we'll build some of those. Do this. That should be fine. Uh, so yeah, bunkhouses are good. Scouts need to go somewhere. We could go all the way off to the ice caverns. Where you go to the remnants of a building. Let's continue kind of working our way along clockwise in the map, I guess, for now. I think that'll be okay. So let's go ahead and assign as many people we can over here, as many people as we can over there. Uh, we don't need the resource gathering post. I do need some people cooking, so let's do that. We got some rations that are going to be coming in. Plenty of soup. Plenty of soup. And if we can just get one of those steam cores up and running, we can get ourselves a mine. How much longer do we need to wait? We are definitely going to get one today. So that's good. Temperature is cold, but still bearable at the moment. This is not too bad. We can work with that. Somebody died. Uh-oh. Yep, death of overwork. All right. Well, we have to make sacrifices to survive. I'm going to wish that I had some sort of cemetery, and I don't have the laws for that at the moment. So that's an issue. Children have been cared for. Hope rises. There we go. Okay, so the children have a daycare. Nice, nice. Um, we have a steam core. Okay, so how much more coal do we have? Four. This will last me for about five days. We can hold off for a moment if I want to go ahead and send off the pump. Also, pumps renovation. If we do this... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is there a reason to do these? Hang on. So right now you're at tier two. Is that how this works? Population of 40. So I'm, I'm, I'm checking to see food improvements. We've done basic dwellings. We've done this. This is cheaper. With a new engine and a bit of work, we could raise the output of pumps heating the crops. Or one of our pumps heating the crops is broken. And raise the output. I'm just wondering if it's worth upgrading them one more time. But is it better to do the renovation that's cheaper, or is it better to do the repair? I mean... It looks like we can keep sending them more and more. Well, Pump Repair does food, whereas these just work on industry. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. We can hold off on the steam core a little bit. We're going to get another one today. Coal pile is now officially depleted. Also, the sawmill is done. Let's go ahead and move that back. We'll place a new sawmill right along here and attach it to a street like so and we can even get rid of the excess street along here okay good 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 and we have more scouts now available and I have plenty of workers to work with so I think we go for another scout team and we're gonna go ahead and send them off to the remnants of a building okay so I'm guessing the stronger these guys are the better oh look a high pass I missed something over here okay well we'll do what I'm doing right now this is fine but yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We are actually getting close to capped out on food rations? What? That doesn't seem possible. That doesn't seem even remotely possible. Okay, charcoal kiln. We could go for the resource depot. Don't need it. I think we need to go for the drafting machines. It does cost me some of my valuable steel. But we're going to make that work. We have a steam core, which means now I probably do want to swap over to steel. So we'll be able to build a mine. Okay. The fever. Sir, a fever is spreading around our people in the hot springs, but the locals refuse to treat them. They say that the fever is merely a consequence of our unnatural lifestyle and offer some herbal remedies. Oh gosh, they're hippies. We could threaten these nuts to make them listen to reason or hope the outbreak will end. Make them behave. We lose all favor. I don't need the favor at the moment. As long as we can rebuild the favor, it's okay. And I'm okay with them being displeased. So let's make them behave. Of course, now we're the same as New London was, but yeah, favor is low, relations are neutral. But I'm hoping we're building more up as we continue working on this, so it's going to be okay. I hope. Um, alright. So with this all set, we're dismantling all of this. We got the sawmill coming up. We've got a handful of extra workers still. We're actually okay in terms of medicine which is shocking to me, we can actually afford to build another workshop. I know. Hallelujah. Can I fit anything in here if I build it like this? It's a little inefficient. If I do this, we can definitely fit something. All right, we're going to build another workshop. I'm going to get some more engineers to work, because if we're going to work on tech, we might as well do it fast, right? Let's 
go ahead and send the laborers off in this direction. It's not going to get cold quite yet. We got a little bit more time. Okay. Wait for New London's response. Yeah. Cold homes. Okay, they want some heating. Keep them uh, warm. Heating level of four? Oh, gosh. You'll have to start heating nine cold homes within 24 hours and keep them heated for two days. The problem with this is it's going to get colder in a little bit. We're going to heat some homes, okay? Some, but not all. We're going to turn this on. And that's not enough? Oh, no. I think what this means is we need to have bunkhouses. So we'll do that. Um, do we have enough steel to build our mine? We do. Coal mine. Let's build that. And get a street out there. Okay. New laws available. Um, what should we work on next? Well... Dueling laws, public house, extra rations, overcrowding, care house. The gravely ill and the amputees will be taken care of. We'll have to build one. We can work toward prosthetics. Cemetery. Each burial will keep some people from work, or we can just do an outright corpse disposal, and as long as it stays cold, they won't decay and make people sick. Gross. Um, however, organ transplants are usually great, so I don't know. Care house and prosthetics is highly tempting, but we could also work toward, like, the medical apprentices and stuff with the children, or the engineer apprentices, and that lets me actually get a lot of extra technology. Right now, we're okay in terms of medicine. I think we can do the engineering apprentices, and that's going to speed up our research. And with two workshops, this could become well worth it. Okay, so you're going to go to faster work. A lot of people are currently homeless, but I'm working on that with the bunkhouses. We're going to be fine. Wise decision. Little hands can do a lot of good. They're just going to hold the wrenches, okay? That's all they're doing. Nothing crazy. Mine's going to be done soon. We'll have work for all you people. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I would love to get prosthetics going, though. Uh, let's assign all the workers over here. We'll have you work the extra hours. Yes, you're discontent. I know, I know. Homes are officially built. Okay, we have four livable condition homes. If I were to turn you off, this is livable. So we have to maintain this standard. Okay, so the good news is with one temperature drop, we can turn on one brassiere and we will meet the needs. We actually could have done all homes if I wanted to invest in that. That said, we're actually really low on wood. So we're going to have to do the longer shifts there as well. Scouts have arrived at the remnants of a building. Okay, so what do we find here? Indeed, a large building stood here once. The size and number of chimneys suggest that it might have been an inn, but now their collapsed remains are all that stands among the snow and ice. We get some steel and some wood. Before the frost, there were probably a road here, was, was probably a road here, that led from the bay to the plains. Excuse me. And it must have been frequented here since there was an inn beside her. The place was undoubtedly nice, at the feet of the mountains with a view of the sea on the horizon. That's all we can guess from the ruins sticking out from the ice. We find a forgotten fishery and Nansen's storm watch. Okay. There are places to explore. We'll do that. Even though they have resources I would like to have back home, I think that's okay. We are almost done with the next round of tech. Got it. Healthcare insulation is going to be great. Uh, cookhouse insulation is certainly going to be helpful as well. We could improve our coal mines. We could also get freight elevators to get even more steel output. This is my only steel source and steam core source. So, I mean, this is good. Steam sawmills we don't need. Gathering post insulation. Heating efficient burners. Less coal usage is actually great. Faster sleds. That's pretty good. And the factory for prosthetics. Faster sleds means we find more help sooner, I'm hoping. Okay, so we're doing that. We have upgraded everything. So unless we want to upgrade more stuff, they're going to have to sit at level 2 for the moment. We can upgrade them to level 3. And presumably we get a lot more uh, output from them eventually. Maybe. Alright, this is going to have to be a good place, I think, for me to end this here video. But we are kind of on top of things. Food-wise, we're okay. We don't need to trade for any food for a little bit. So I can really focus on just getting some more uh, resource extraction. And in fact, I think we have to build another sawmill. 
right over here, just so we can gather up enough wood, because we're starting to run a little on the low side. We don't have enough wood to build all the streets, unfortunately. There we go, that fixes the problem. But, uh, let's do this, it's a little more efficient. There we go. But we need more people working over there, so that's what we're going to do. We're still working on some more tech. Um, we're actually becoming self-sufficient, my god. If we can find one or two other settlements out there, and they're willing to give me enough support against New London, we can maintain our independence even without a generator, and we will truly be a free people in Prosperg. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.